Hello and welcome, Glorious Gang. Today, I'm going to be doing a collective haul. Y'all, I put Tic Tacs in my mouth and they're still in there and I forgot. So we're going to keep on going and y'all just going to see them moving around and me talking with them in my mouth. So y'all, I got sucked in. I got sucked in to going back to Sephora. So that's part of my collective haul. I went to the one in Kohl's. So I got a bag of from Kohl's. I also have a bag from Target. And since this came, some vitamin shop. Okay. So then I say, hello and welcome, Glorious Gang. I'm so glad you're here with me. Please, let's get this video up to 50 likes. And hello and welcome to everyone that have recently become a part of the channel. I hope that you are liking it here. We have a nice little family thing going on here. And y'all, the things that Vitamin Shop sent me, I had to get on there and was like, oh my God, don't send me anymore. I thought I had set it up to where I wasn't getting anything sent to me until next year, but that's a lie. Because they sent me some more of the Super Gummies. These are Moringa and Super Greens. Me and my kids be eating them. And I have, I want to say I have a couple of bags already of this. So I didn't need any more. The Astra, Astra Gullis. This is good for your um, immune support. So it helps to get bad things out of your system. And then I have some more positivity menopause support, which I have not been taking. So I have like, I don't know, at least three or four bottles of this. So I didn't need any more of these. And I'm for sure I got at least one more bottle of this that I haven't even opened yet. So I didn't need any more of those. So hopefully I set it up properly where it's not sending me anything until like spring of next year all right so I went into target i went looking for these and i found them y'all these are so good if you like turtles i don't know why i even tried these because now it's like i'll be on a hunt form in target i bought three bags but Oh, here's the other bag. I opened it up and been eating them. They almost all gone, y'all. So, three bags because I had been looking for them for a few weeks and couldn't find them. These are milk, chocolate, pecan, and caramel crunchy clusters. Turtles. They are so good. The chocolate that this favorite day company, I'm assuming that it's a Target company, the chocolate that they use on the turtles and the caramel is really good. These are good. So I bought three bags of those. That is not helping me with my weight loss goals, but y'all, just ridiculous. Oh, okay. So that's the bill. I bought some oral gel. This one says mouth sores. But sometimes my teeth feel sensitive. And so that's why I got this. Because I'm thinking, it says for, provides pain relief. So sometimes my gums are um, sensitive or my teeth are sensitive. So that's why I got this. And I bought some liquid IV because it seems like 
I feel like I'm dehydrated sometimes, even though I'm drinking water, especially at work. I drink water all day, but sometimes I feel like I'm dehydrated. So maybe I was like, maybe my electrolytes be off. I don't know, but I bought this. And in my mind, when I feel dehydrated, it's like my muscles start to ache. Like it might be my elbow or my arm right here. It might be something or even my shoulder. Something will start aching. And so I'm like, I'm thinking I'm dehydrated. Because it seems like when I drink a whole bunch of water, at that point, it kind of subsides. So I don't know. I could be making it up because I never did look it up. Then, in Kohl's, because I was at the Sephora in Kohl's, these checkered shirts were on sale for $14.99, plus I got 15% off, so I bought a black and white one. I bought an extra large because I wanted it to be kind of long, because I wear, this would be something I wear to work. I wear um, like workout pants every day and I'll be trying to cover up a little bit. So I usually have a tank top on it. I try to pull down and um, like tank top, the stretch pants and some kind of workout shirt or a sweatshirt or something. And sometimes I do wear checkered shirts. And so I bought the black and white because I have lots of black pants and I bought this brown and tan just because the colors are different brown is not usually something that you find in checkered shirts and I do have some brown workout clothes so there's this one Oh, the original price was $29.99. So how much did I pay? Oh, $12.74. So that's a good price for a checkered shirt. Because sometimes checkered shirts try to be a little bit expensive, but I'm like, they're so basic. What are y'all doing? But anyway, so yesterday, this is my first bag from Sephora. Did I take the stuff out of here? What did I end up getting? Let me see. I, I used the lip stuff that I bought. I thought I bought something else, y'all. Mm. Okay, well, that must have been it. So I bought two lip items and... Oh, let me, I'll talk about this. They got Cyber Week coming up. Okay, so I bought two lip items. I bought a Fenty color that I have on now. I think it's a pretty pink, a nudie pink. So, and I like the formula. It's very smooth. <clears throat> I want to say this is one of her popular colors. This one is called Riri. I seen someone talking about it and they had like a red one and this one and they were like, I'm going to get all the colors and I can't remember who that was. Anyway, this is called Gloss Bomb Stick. So it's kind of shiny, but it has a bit more pigment in it than a regular gloss and it's smooth. So I don't know if they have something in here that's like nourishing to your lips, but I like it. It's high shine gloss stick. So it looks like a stick. I want to say I have an orange one like this, but the packaging was different. So this is the color. I like it. And it's Riri. Riri, I think, is one of her popular colors, like I said. So... I got that. It was in between Fussy and Riri. I liked Riri better because it had more pigment in it to me. A little bit more pink. It's Fussy something. 
Then I bought, and I do not know how to pronounce it. Pronounce this. I think it's say. -y. Say. I don't know. But this is called Glossy Bounce Hydrating Lip Oil. I didn't have any of this company's lip oils. And I think, yes, I seen today. You know what's in there? Oh, I tore the package up. That's what's in there. The little part. But today I seen in the other altar that I went, not altar, Sephora that I went to, that they had a, like a gift package with two different colors. The colors seem nice, but I preferred this color that I bought because I almost picked that up and I was like, hold your horses, girl. You don't need to pick up all these lip colors. You did damage last time, and you probably haven't worn all the colors that you picked up. But this one is called Remix Shimmer. So that's what the package looks like. And this is the color. It is pretty. It's like a, a peachy pink with a little bit of shimmer. So, oh, it's kind of washing it out. But maybe that's the way it'll appear on your lips. It's giving it a little bit of color. So, yeah. It's actually similar to the Fenty one, but it's a different formula. And it's a lip oil with more pigment. And I, I did try this out yesterday. And I like the way that this feels. So I'm happy about that. What was the prices on those things? Let's see. Oh, and I finally picked up one of the Sephora eyebrow pencils. And this is in the color Ebony. So... I got 20% off the lip colors and I don't know what the prices are from the other one. Girl, what you do? Oh, I stuck it back in the package. I told you I didn't tore up the packages. Okay. So I don't remember what the prices were on the lips. So one of them was $22 and it came up to $17.60. And the other one was $25, and it came up to $20. So, if y'all know the prices, then y'all know which is which. Then, so today, which this was what I was going to pick up yesterday, and I put it back because I was like, I'm trying to stay within my budget. I don't want to go over. Well, y'all, I went over. So this is um, a Sephora skin kit thing. I seen Amber from the Frag View talk about this one particular item. It's the vitamin C and E Super Glow Serum. And she was saying how great it does for her skin. And she really likes it and she has to pick it up. So I saw this little kit, which has... Um, a glow booster mask and a bright booster mask plus the vitamin C and E super glow serum. And I thought that this would be good because I want to say like under my eyes, it's a little dry and I figure, and I'm not really big into eye creams. So I said to myself, I would use this in particular oh, under my eyes. I probably put it on my face also, but really under my eyes. So that's why I got it. Let me see. Oh, they have it. Um, that's why I've been tearing everything up. Where is my... I don't know where my scissors at. Okay. Let's see what's in there. 
it's just supposed to be three things. Y'all. I'm fighting with the things to open it up. So, yeah. So, it's a full size of the vitamin C and E Super Glow. So, it looks like that. And it's a dropper. It's an oil. So, yeah. That'll be good. And, like I said, it has two. Oh, this is an eye patch, girl. So, this is an eye patch. I'm trying to see if it told me real quick what was the ingredients. Okay, so no, it doesn't. That's an eye patch. And this one has brightening vitamin C and orange extract. Oh, it has vitamin C also and papaya extract. You're, I missed that. So, yeah, that's the two. Um, face masks that I have. So then I seen this Summer Fridays, the Minis Neutral Lip Butter. Does somebody have this? Shaughnessy, maybe? Maybe Shaughnessy may have had this. Because I seem like I remember somebody talking about neutrals and they were like, I like this one better. I don't know. But anyway, these are tiny. But these will be cool to just put in my purse. And I like um, lip balms because it has like the extra, I want to say Vaseline, but it has the extra thickness in there. From what I can remember, I have a big one of these, I think, that I bought last year that I liked the smoothness of it. If I'm not mistaken, it was like a coffee color, but I don't think it was any of these. This one must be vanilla. Girl, I can't read it on none, none of this packaging. Oh, I remember my aunt used to be like this. And she used to have, she was, she was a seamstress and she used to sew and make dresses. She can make items without a um pattern she was a real good seamstress and she used to say she used to have us um thread her needle and she was like y'all little kids y'all have good eyes now i remember her doing this and can't find the the hole for the needle and all this now i can't read this stuff but this says vanilla i think Maybe we, but we messing our eyes up more with the phones. This one says vanilla beige. Can you see these colors? Maybe not. This one says iced coffee. And this one, it is brown sugar so the brown sugar has like a pinky it's like a pinky neutral the iced coffee has a little bit more of like a orangey still neutral the vanilla beige is like more of a brownie neutral and the vanilla is more like a white so I, let me see if I can wipe them on me and wipe them. So vanilla is clear. Try to do them like they had them in the package. The vanilla beige. Oh, from this, it looks clear also. Thought it would have more color. But maybe that's the oil peeking out. 
and the color is separated. I don't know. They all look, ooh, that smells good. Ooh, that smells good. They all look neutral. That is the iced coffee. That smells good, y'all. Pick up the same one. And then it's the brown sugar. At this point, it's just coming out clear. So I don't know if the pigment is going to come out later. I don't know. But right now, that's what it looks like. And remember that that one is the say, say, or whatever it is. So, yeah, they all look neutral. It feels nice and smooth. Okay. Then I seen this. I didn't hear anyone talk about this one. This is Sh uh, Fenty Skin Shimmer and Spice. It's the Warm Cinnamon Shimmer Lip and Body Duo. So that's what the packaging looked like. I thought that was cute. They still had the trio of body butters. But I didn't get that one. I got this one instead. Because I wanted to try the lip item. And so... The lip item, I guess you, you push it up. What do you do? Oh, it twists. Y'all messing. Okay, so you twist it up. Can't see. Let's see. Okay, there it is. You twist it up. Oh, that has a thick, yeah. That'll be nice to wear in the evening or at night. And it has a little bit of, a little bit of sparkle in it. A little bit of shimmer. So that's right there. I wiped in all the other ones together. I mixed them up. But that's there. Okay, feels like it's going to be nice on the lip. And then this is the Warm Cinnamon Shimmer. I don't remember if this was one of the ones that came out last year or the year before. Because I didn't buy any of them. But in the store, this one... I smelled the marshmallow one because that's the one the girl in the store was going on and on about. And to me, it was a very mild and mild smelling sweet smell. But it was mild on the sweetness also. This is mild also, but the cinnamon and the sweetness is a little bit more pronounced and it's not real spicy. It was sweeter to me. So that's this one. And she rubbed it on my hand, so I did like the consistency. She rubbed the marshmallow one on my hand. And this one, I want to say it was only like $30 for the lip and the one body butter. And I did like it better. But the body butter feels good. So we got that, and then I picked up my free Prada Paradox Intense. Okay, so y'all, I have to do a finance video. So I'm going to talk about the Prada Intense on that. A lot of things been going on in the finance. As you can see from the big smile, I'm happy. I'm happy on one end, sad on the other. But we'll talk about that in 
the finance video because I have to do one. It's been a few weeks. I got to do one. All right. Um, let me know in the comments. Did you participate in the Sephora savings event sale, VIB sale, insider sale? What's the other one? Rouge sale. Did you participate? Let me know what you got. Um, or you was like, forget it. I'm not participating. I'm keeping my money. Well, let me tell y'all. I participated a lot more than I probably should have. But what I will say, I did come under budget with my fragrance buys for October. And I put this in the fragrance buy, buy category. So I went over for November. In my mind, I haven't added it up completely. And December is my birthday month, but I ain't going to speak on it. I'm thinking I'm not going to do too much, but I'm not going to speak on it because who knows. So anyway, once again, leave me a comment, share the video, like the video, and subscribe. Still trying to grow the channel. Love you all. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.